Training courses in test-driven development don't work. Why is that? Many developers who I meet say that they've done a training course in test-driven development. But when I ask them if they actually do TDD in their production code, very few say that they do. And of those that claim to, I don't actually know how many really do it. There was this study of Java developers from 2015, which found that of the people who claimed to be doing test-driven development, less than 3% actually did it when they analyzed all the data from their IDE. Often, people will talk positively about test-driven development, how they would like to do it more. We might discuss the improved code quality, the testability, the extensibility, the unit test coverage that you get from test-driven development. So why aren't they doing it? Hi, I'm Emily Bache, software developer and creator of Saman Coaching. On my channel, you can find all sorts of content for developers and technical coaches. If you like what you see here, please hit like and subscribe. Also, check out my Patreon for more resources. When I wanted to learn Scala, I did a training course. I already knew some other programming languages, so I took an online course in Scala, including lectures and exercises. Then soon after that, I began using it in my production system. I should also mention that everyone in my development team also did this course at the same time. Some of my colleagues were really enthusiastic about Scala and knew a lot more about it. And they helped the rest of us out by reviewing our code and answering questions. It didn't take long before we were all writing pretty good code and enjoying the benefits of this powerful programming language in our product. Now, I'd like to be able to tell a similar story about learning test-driven development, because that's how it's supposed to work. You do a training, everyone learns the basics, and then before long, everyone has adopted the new skill in their usual daily work. It really doesn't happen like that with test-driven development. Recently, I was asked to speak at the Calgary Software Crafters Meetup. They're a lovely bunch, and many of them are very skilled at test-driven development. So I took the opportunity to ask them how that had happened. I asked them to pick the most significant things from a long list of options that I prepared for them. The favorite answer was practicing on code carters and exercises, closely followed by frequent pair programming with a TDD practitioner. What almost none of them picked was an instructor-led training course. And that matches my experience asking the similar question to other groups of TDD practitioners. The essence of Saman, the technical coaching method that I use, is based around these observations of what actually works. Practicing on code carters and pairing with an experienced TDD practitioner. Now, I'm a big fan of code carters. These are small exercises that let you practice the skills and moves of TDD and refactoring and test design and so on. I've got some videos about my favorites. Do check out my top code carters playlist. You can get more skilled at TDD and refactoring by doing these exercises carefully and thoughtfully. I recommend you try some. In Saman coaching, we do frequent learning hours. These are short, interactive training sessions with a coach. And you practice skills and discuss theory. And on my channel, I have many videos of guided learning hours that are designed to help you do these kind of sessions in practice. And some of those are specifically about TDD. You could try them out too. Having said that, for a skill like TDD, just doing training sessions is probably not enough. There is a definite gap in the difficulty of these exercises and the state of most production code. Real life is just way more complex. Being able to do a code carter will help, but it only takes you so far. You are also gonna need help doing TDD in your production code. So after you've done your training and you get back to your desk, your ordinary production code, it's just too easy to go back to how you were doing things before. You might think, well, you know, I've done this training, I should write a test first. But then it turns out to be a bit tricky. So you think, hmm, maybe I'll just go and look at the implementation for a bit. 
before you know it, the code is mostly done and working and the test is still there, kind of half finished. Old habits die hard, particularly if you're not getting any support or encouragement from the other programmers in your team. And that's where the second part of Saman coaching comes in. Ensemble, also known as mob programming. It's where you get the whole team together to work on the same piece of code with a coach. And the coach can encourage you to persist in writing those tests first. They can remind you again, don't write all the code at once. The code can help you out if you get stuck and don't know which test to write or how to design something that's going to be testable. In my earlier story about learning Scala, I had support from the programmers around me. They helped me with code reviews and design discussions and answered my syntax questions. This is not quite that. You can't get better at TDD via code reviews. Looking at the code you end up with is pretty irrelevant. What is important is the way you created it. It's not just a question of syntax questions. Design discussions can help you to find a testable design, but that on its own isn't TDD either. To get better at test-driven development, you have to do it. You have to drive development from the tests and not fall back to your previous ways of working. And that's how having a coach working with you while you develop in your production code is so important. Training courses in test-driven development don't work. And that's because there is a gap in the difficulty between the exercises and your real production code. It's too easy to fall back into old habits once you get back to your desk. And probably not everyone in the team did the training and you're getting no support. Technical coaching does work. And that's because the trainings that you do as part of that are targeted and relevant for your situation. The coach will do test driven development with you and explain how it works, even in difficult situations in your production code. Coaching will also go on for a little longer than training course. So you have more time to build those new coding habits and not fall back into your old ones. Plus, the whole team is learning together and you can support one another once the coach has left. If you are looking to learn test driven development and to start using it in your production code, I encourage you, find an experienced technical coach to help you with that. There are some really good ones out there, although they can be a bit hard to find. I've gathered some of the best ones in the Saman Technical Coaching Society, which I founded. There's a link in the show notes. But in any case, don't settle for a short training course that no one else on your team goes on. It won't work. Get a technical coach instead.